Hello, people of God. This is my day called Sweet TV, and I'm Dupi Dupi Singer. This is episode 66. Episode 66. 66. How have you been? I've been talking about Uchi and Timothy. And there's this interesting story that I want to share with you. One day, the two of them followed me to Ibadan. On our way, we got to Ogiri, and something was wrong with the tire of a car. So, we stopped at the vulcanizers. And they, 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 they are street guys, don't forget. And they noticed that the guy was trying to cheat us. I did not notice. I would not have noticed. But they noticed. Trouble broke, broke out at Ogiri. They told the man they were going to beat him and throw him into the gutter. And of course, the man thought that they were regular street guys. And he also wanted to show that he also has had a bit of the experience on the street. You can imagine me shouting, Uche, Timothy, Uche, Timo. <laughs> Uche, Uche used to call Timothy Timo. So I learned calling Timothy Timo too. Timo, they say, Mommy, they want to cheat you. He wants to cheat you. So we show him that we, we are your children and we will not stand by for you to, for them to cheat you. I, God finally helped me. We broke a peace. And we were soon on our way to Ibadan. We got to Ibadan all right. And we settled down. I think we were supposed to stay longer than usual. And somehow along the line, the, something was also wrong with the car again. And Timothy said, Mommy, let me drive you to the mechanic. Let me drive your car to the mechanic and let's see what is wrong with the car. And I agreed. So he and Timothy went. He drove the car and, I mean, Uche was beside him. And they soon came back to meet me in my mother's house to say this and this and this were the things that were wrong with the car according to what the mechanic said. And they added up the cost of repairs. It was like 4,000 or 4,005. I didn't argue with them. Don't forget, I know the background they were coming from. I also know, I knew that they could be unfaithful, but what could I have done? I wasn't there with them. So I gave them the 4,005. And I prayed inside of me, saying to God, you have to help me to mentor these guys so that I will be sure that they will also learn some truthfulness. They were soon gone to the mechanic and they also came back with the car fixed. The day went on well without any problem. And everybody went to sleep. My mother's house was fairly big. My mother slept upstairs and they slept downstairs. And was there was a, a whole flat downstairs so they could take a room and they slept downstairs. I slept upstairs in one of the rooms upstairs. It was Friday and it was going to be Saturday. My, don't forget I was, the Lord had told me to do 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And if I wouldn't be in Lagos, everywhere I was, I tried to observe the 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. time with the Lord. So by 6.30 or thereabout, I opened the door and the two of them, like small boys, <laughs> they try really push the door in and, you know, <laughs> like puppies sat down and they were looking at me in one very funny way. I asked them, what is wrong with you? And they told me, Mommy, we had bad dreams. Ah, 
mommy, did you, they said, mommy, you didn't hear us knock on the door earlier. I said, no. He said, we are trying to come knocking on this door by around 5 a.m. I said, why would you wake me up this, that early? He said, mommy, we were in trouble. What kind of trouble? These are fearless people. These were fearless people. I mean, for them to say they were in trouble. I said, what kind of trouble are you in? Eh, eh. See what he said? Mommy, I had a bad dream. U Uche said, Mommy, I also had a bad dream. And the two of us woke up around about the same time. And as I woke up from my, from my dream with fright, Timothy also woke up and he was afraid. Ah, what was your dream? I cannot remember Uche's dream now. I cannot remember Uche's dream. But Timothy's dream, I'm not likely to forget till I die. He said he had this dream. In the dream, he had stolen somebody's phone. And it was, for them, it was a very easy thing to steal phones in those days. Don't forget that phones were not this popular. He had stolen somebody's phone in the dream. And he was happy that he stole the phone. So the, person, the woman that owned the phone called him. He had to pick the call from the phone he stole. And the woman said, Come and drop my phone back. If not, you will go mad. Within the person, the woman specified the time. In one hour, you will go mad. And he said he laughed and said, You don't know who you are talking to. You are talking to a J. Lord, <laughs> you don't know me. Can I go mad for what? Do you know how so many things I've I've stolen in the past? The woman said, I'm I'm not joking with you. If you do not return my phone, you are going to go mad in one hour. He put off the phone. The woman called after a while. He said, I'm telling you, it's almost 45 minutes gone. In one hour, you go mad. He said, no, I cannot go mad. After the woman dropped or he dropped, he said, without him being able to help himself, he, was, he removed his shirt. He removed his trousers. Five minutes to the time that the woman gave him, he was going to remove everything he, he was wearing. He would have been stuck naked. He said he was at the point of removing his underwears. But he now said, Why, why am I so hard hearted? Why don't you just why don't I just allow tell this woman that I will return her phone? So she called the woman back and said, Please, I'm going to return my your phone. I'm going to return your phone. Please don't let me go mad. Don't let me go mad. And the woman was like, I told you, I warned you, you did not want to hear me. And so he woke up in fight. Around the same time, Uche woke up with his own which dream I cannot remember now. The dream still did not make any sense to me. But it made sense to them. I said, so what are you, what, what, what do you think your dream is saying? The two of them did like this. Um, mommy, we have a confession to make. We are holding their ears. We have a confession to make. Okay, what happened? Yesterday, when we took your car to the mechanic, uh, to, uh, the, the mechanic actually told us we should bring 2,000 Naira. We just inflicted the money. And we said it was 4,005. And you did not argue with us. And you gave us the money. So we paid the mechanic 2000 and we kept the 2005. So when I had that dream, I just said, Eh, hey, Uche. In actual fact, he never really called Uche, Uche. He used to call Uche, Uche. He couldn't call his CH well. Uche, Uche, Uche. That must have been mommy's money we took. God is angry with us. That was why God is warning us. Hi. God is behind mommy. There's no doubt about it. And Uche also, his own dream that I cannot remember now, he also was reliably persuaded that they needed to confess their sins. <laughs> As it were, to tell me that they defrauded me. And they now prostrated and said, Mommy, we know God is with you. We will stop doing such things. We promise you. And these are the kind of ways by which God protected me 
people will say this woman must be very bold she must be very brave I, I i hope that in the next episode i'll be able to share one or two others with you how i lifted up my hands unto the lord and said i will not know how to monitor this these boys and i do not want to get into any, any trouble lord you must help me and how the lord you know in his own way spiritually always gave them revelations or did things that made them know that they were rebellious at god or to god and made them you know to relax a little and to to submit themselves to mentorship what is it that the lord has asked you to do that looks like a dangerous thing he also knows how to speak to the people on the other side so that they will know that he is with you and they should not um touch do not touch my anointed and do my prophet no harm do not because of the danger ahead not even venture out to do the bidding of the lord this is my jacob state tv and the p2p singer again subscribe hit the notification bell share and prayerfully follow let's follow jesus together thanks for watching god bless you have a beautiful day bye bye